Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share another sticker haul with you guys and this is the uh, kits that I picked up for September from Sarah Marie Stickers. I do have her Etsy shop linked down below if you guys wanna check anything out. But let's go ahead and get started because as you can probably see, I picked up a ton of stuff. So I think where I will begin is just with everything I picked up for budgeting. I do get my budget stickers as well as my planning stickers from Sarah. I get some stuff from Planner Kate still, and then I also do get some stuff from Once More With Love um, and all of that too. So I kind of use a combination of all three, but I'm just getting myself uh, organized over here real quick, trying to figure out where everything is. <laughs> um, so let's see here. I think I've got... Yeah, all that, and then I think that's good. I'm pretty sure Did I get everything. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> so let's see here. So first of all, I picked up a couple budget kits, uh, five all together for September. So this is the monthly budget kit. So it comes with, you know, the script sticker at the top and then an income section, expenses section, some saving sections. And I picked up five of these because we have four paychecks in September. I may not do this moving forward um, and I might not even use all of these because I believe in August I'm going to start budgeting bi-weekly instead of by paycheck. So that may be changing. So look out for this. I might end up putting some of these in my D-Stash account on Instagram. I do have that account handle linked down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, so I got five of those. And then I've got the new budget kit. So I picked up this for both August and September. I don't know that I'm going to end up using this quite yet, but I wanted to get it just in case. I figured if anything I can maybe like hold on to it or I, I might end up de-stashing it. We'll see what happens. I don't know that my business is like as, it, I don't know that it needs as much detail quite yet. I think once I start my other business that I'm, that I kind of have in the works right now, I could definitely do that. But right now it's pretty simple. It's really just YouTube and um, some affiliate, affiliate links and things like that. I don't have many expenses, all that kind of stuff. But I love the way that this turned out when Sarah showed, um, or shared her video using this kit and everything. I thought it looked really great and very organized, so I did pick it up. So it's got the uh, kind of the business budget section here, and then it's got a section for business expenses and then estimated taxes, which is super, super important. So I got that again for September and for August. And then I've got here the savings tracker which I have not been using. I don't know that I'll continue ordering this or not. I've been using just the little notes column in the monthly view of my budget planner to track what's coming out of savings. And then I use the like goal section, which I have, I don't actually know where my budget planner is, um, but uh, the little like 12, I think there's 12 boxes. Yeah, there's 12 boxes all together and I use um, those as well as Sarah's like savings tracker kit. Let me see. Maybe it's in here. My office right now slash bedroom is insanely messy. So here we go. Found it. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It's this right here. So this is a savings tracker kit from Sarah and I haven't filled it in for July quite yet, but I just think this turned out really, really cute. So I've kind of been doing that. I don't know that I really need this anymore. So that may be going in the D-stash as well. And then I've got a sinking funds and a transaction log. This is another one where we haven't really been using sinking funds um, lately because we've just been so focused on putting as much into a general savings account as possible to save up for new furniture. We have to get a washer and dryer ceiling fans, you know, all that kind of stuff for the new house and then paying for like moving expenses. We have to put down our down payment still, all that good stuff. So we haven't really been doing sinking funds, but eventually we will. So this will be another thing that will likely be in the D stash. Um, so definitely look out for that. 
And then I've got, let's see, those are for the planning kits. I've got some script stickers here. I picked up these script stickers and I did get these for August as well uh, because it's got this bi-weekly budget, um, budget stickers right here. So I wanted to pick that up. And then there's a couple of these that I might use in the dashboard section of the planner, which is, let's see, um, this little section here. I thought maybe I could use that to track like our credit tracker. Um, I could bust out like whatever medical expenses we may have, any important bills, birthdays. So there's a bunch here that I could still use in addition to the bi-weekly budget. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. But because I'm planning to do bi-weekly budgets moving forward, I wanted to have a couple script stickers that would match. So there's that. And then I've also got the weekly check-in sheet. And this is one of the most important sheets, um, in my opinion, of the budget kits. So this allows me to check in with categories like groceries, gas, household products, things like that, just to make sure that our spending is in check. Super, super important because it's one thing to create a budget. It's another thing to follow through with the budget and check in with the budget consistently to make sure you are spending what you've allotted to spend and all that good stuff and that you're on track to meet your goals. So that's what this uh, little kit allows me to do. One of my favorite uh, parts of budgeting is the weekly check-in, as nerdy as that might sound. And then I've got this variable income sheet here. So this is the sheet that I will likely use versus like the business budget sheet, just cause it's a little less like um, in, involved or detailed, if that makes sense, which is kind of what I need right now. But again, once I like launch my other business and everything like that, which will hopefully be happening in November or sooner, then I can definitely see myself using like that full on kit. But I did wanna pick it up just in case I decided to change my mind. I do tend to change my mind a lot. And when I do change my mind, I just de-stash items and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so there's that little piece. And then we get into all the fun, what I consider to be the fun stuff, which, which is the washi. So I've got the monthly kit here and I like to use this in the monthly view where I track my transactions just to kind of have everything match and tie in. And I absolutely love what Sarah came up with for September. Um, it's so funny because I've been like checking out digital papers and stuff myself and I came across this print and I fell in love with it before I ever saw Sarah like release this and it's so, it's her taste just is like very spot on with my own and I love that she picked this. It just gives me lots of like fall vibes and it's just so pretty with the florals. I love um, the thin washi option here with the chevron pattern and everything. I just think it's super, super cute. So there's that. And then I've got a whole bunch of thick washi. So she picked um, some washi that, you know, all ties in together. And I think she mentioned this in her release video, but you really can pair any of these together and they're gonna look really, really great. So in the chevron, you've got those little peaks of that floral pattern back there. So I've got two chevron ones. I've got two of this, um, there's like an official name for this pattern, but I don't remember what it is. And then I did get a couple of like the floral um, thick washies too. So in total, I've got, was that two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, <laughs> um, 12 thick washies to use, which is, just about enough, I think, <laughs> to use. So yeah, so I've got those. And then I also do, did get the paycheck stickers. And if I do switch to bi-weekly budgeting, if that works really well for me in August, then I likely won't use this sheet anymore. But I picked it up um, just in the event that like I change my mind and all that kind of stuff. Budgeting is an ever-evolving process. You, um, and it's something that I enjoy. Like it used to kind of, I guess irritate me a little bit or something like if I were to like constantly change my mind or if I switch things up but now I'm just like way more open to trying new things because you just never know if something's gonna work really well or not until you actually try it out you know so um, I wanted to get this just just in case I ended up deciding to you know go back to paycheck budgeting and then I did get a whole bunch of thin washi as well I like to use one of these in the monthly view of my 
daily duo for like my life plans and then I get a whole bunch to do just some like extra decoration and things like that. So I've got four sheets of the thin washi. So that's everything that I picked up for budgeting, although one of these is again for planning. <laughs> so I just didn't put it with the planning stuff. So for my monthly view for September, I've got that same monthly kit and then I got these little monthly add-ons from Sarah. So I got a couple of the event stickers and the uh, just plain like boxes here. And that has been working super, super well for me. Um, I use that in July and I love it. I love like just how clean it looks and everything. And then again, I've got this thin washi here because there may be events where I need to like block off a couple days or something like that. So um, you guys will be seeing my August plan, plan with me very soon. Um, so, yeah, and I don't have my August stickers right here, but yeah, you guys will see that very soon too. You'll see Sarah's like August kit in that video. I cannot wait to use this in September. September is one of my favorite months. Um, it's my birthday month for one, <laughs> but it's just also when the weather in Arizona starts to like kind of cool off. You start to get those like fall vibes. Like, I don't know, summer in Arizona is interesting. There's a lot that I love about it. There's a lot that I don't love about it. The fact that it's so hot here is obviously something that I don't love about it, but I do love of like going to the pool and all that kind of stuff but I live for fall fall is by far my favorite season of the year so I'm really excited to use those and then I did get my daily duo stuff so the first thing I picked up let's see if I can like separate this out real quick I didn't really get myself very like organized um, before filming this so I'm trying to figure out what goes with what let's see think that goes with that pardon me while I just get myself together here I think that must go with that one um, I think I got it yeah that and then that, that. okay I think I've got it organized okay <laughs> So, the first um, kit I picked up was Mini Kit 12. And so I've got the hourly sheet. I've explained this in a couple videos, but one of the main reasons I pick up the hourly sheet is for this thin washi here. I like to use these skinny labels for weather. That's what I've been doing in my planner lately. I, I love having like a couple of these um, check boxes and things like that because these actually line up really well with the Daily Duo line spacing as well. And then I love having a couple decorative boxes just for like special events. And then the flags um, are something that I really like to use for like grocery time or laundry day or anything like that just as like a little header. Um, and then plus you get some script stickers at the top here. So I personally love picking up this kit. And then of course I've got the Daily Duo headers as well. And these are super, super pretty. So I love using those. And then I've got the like... Uh, time label boxes. I've got two of those sheets because I do like to use this skinnier option for um, separating out my to-do list into sections. And I, I've been really loving using these thicker ones to mark dinners in my planner. So then I've got the thin washi, which I haven't been using since I got the Daily Duo header. So I don't know that I'll continue to get the thin washi, but it is super cute. And then I've got some um, appointment labels, event labels as well. So there's the first one. Okay, and then I've also got this kit here which matches all of the budgeting stuff. So this is mini kit nine. And um, again, it's got that cute chevron pattern, the fall florals, and then I've got the daily duo um, headers as well. I cannot wait to use that. It's just so, so pretty. Like, Oh, the colors on here are gorgeous. I feel like it definitely looks way different in person than on camera, but just trust me when I say, like, all of these kits honestly are beautiful. And then I've got two of the time, um, time labels, the skinny washi, and the event labels as well. So I am finding between all of this, like, I'm actually using pretty much all my stickers, which is something that has been really important to me. Like, it's just not letting things go to waste. So I find myself using like obviously all of these. I go through most of my event labels 
And even on the kits, like I end up using, you know, some thin washi. I use all of these typically. Like it's just been really, really nice actually using pretty much everything in the kit. That's something that I've always struggled with and that always bothered me for some reason. Okay, so the next one that I've got here is mini kit 10A. And so again, it's got those cute like leaf patterns there. I love the colors in this kit. There's the daily duo option, the um, daily duo headers option. And then of course, two of the time labels as per usual, the skinny washi and the event labels. So that's everything I've been picking up for, you know, my daily duo weeks. That's been working out really, really well. And then the last kit I picked up is one of my favorites, especially for fall. I feel like I'm gonna definitely use this like in the last week of September and that's mini kit 11 and it's got like these super fall colors the fall leaves I love this thin washi just this like dark like almost wine yeah like reddish brown color <laughs> is really really pretty so oh there it goes it's focusing and then I've got the daily duo headers the time labels the thin washi and the event labels. So I picked up a whole ton of stuff from Sarah and I am so excited to use all of this. It's all just so, so pretty. So there you have it, you guys. That is everything that I picked up from Sarah for my budgeting and my weekly planning, monthly planning, all of that in both my monthly planner and my daily duo life planner from Erin Condren. And um, I did order a whole bunch of stuff from Planner Kate recently and also from Once More With Love. So I'll probably be sharing that here soon. I might start doing like a monthly sticker shop with me and a monthly sticker haul video instead of like separating things out. I did do monthly sticker hauls not too long ago and just kind of combined everything. So I may start doing that again um, pretty soon. So you guys will see that in the near-ish future, but and I know um, I've gotten quite a few requests to do like a shop with me too for like planner stickers. So I definitely plan to do that here very soon um, for you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite season of the year? Do you love fall, winter, spring, summer? Like what is your favorite? Mine again is fall. I just love everything about fall. But anyways guys, that is it for this video. I will chat with y'all later. Bye.